there. It is busy already and we're concerned about just that wind because that wind will bring down those trees power lines. So again, if you come to a four way stop, the power's out. You got to slow it on down. All right, hey, download our free WBTV weather app. This is the best way you can keep up with this when you're away from the TV. All your interactive watches warnings are all right there. Now here's that complex that came across Alabama yesterday. That's now into North Florida, the low country here. What we're looking at is what's developing back here into North Georgia, Alabama. That will be shifting up the I-85 corridor. And so over time, our rain chances will be going up. Right now, there's just not that much out there. Sure, we've got some rain, Chester, York into Lancaster, down into our Union Anson. It's very spotty though at this point. But as we go through the morning and into the midday hours, our rain chances will be going up very mild. Just about everybody is at about 65 degrees this morning. Ballantyne, Fort Mill, Dallas at 66, 65 Charlotte and Huntersville. So over the next 12 hours, our rain chances, while they're in that 20, 30 percent zone right now, they go into that 70 to 80 percent chance as we go deeper into the morning. And with that, we will eventually start to get into the 70s and there may be some parting thunderstorms this afternoon as well. So here we go. This is our future cast. I'm going to step on this side so you can see this because while we're fairly quiet right now, those showers and storms will be coming up from the, the south into the west. And that's when I expect that as we get deeper into the morning, we will be looking at the uh, rain chance going up. So we may be able to get through at least the early part of the commute without too much rain, but the back end and certainly as we go deeper into the morning, uh, we will be dealing with showers. Also, we're looking at very gusty winds, not just today, but tomorrow as well. 35, 40 mile per hour wind gusts. So in a practical sense, what does that mean? That means if you've got lawn furniture, maybe the umbrella, you want to make sure that's nailed down or it may wind up over in the neighbor's yard, right? We're talking about gusts this morning around 35 miles per hour, and they could be as high as 40 this afternoon and this evening. And this is outside of any potential thunderstorm wind gusts. So for today, it's a level one risk that we're watching. Heavy rain rain, gusty winds, even outside of the thunderstorms. Tornado threat though is actually pretty low. The ingredients for that are just not there. Once we get through this, the weekend looks good. Tomorrow, still gusty breezes, and there is a small chance for a shower, especially mountains and foothills, but even in Charlotte, and it's a lot cooler at 69, but look at this. Here we go. The weekend, fantastic. 75 on Saturday, and we're talking low 80s on Sunday, and those 80s are going to continue next week. We're not dipping down anytime soon. We've got a consistent stretch of dry, very warm weather coming our way starting on Saturday. We just got to get through this today and those gusty winds for tomorrow as well.